I get asked questions all the time about why astral parasites and negative entity attachments want to attach themselves to me. And the answer is very multifaceted. But one of the ways that we can think about it is from the perspective of the entity, what is it that they want from us? So let's talk about that in this video. I like to break down what do negative entity attachments want from us from two different layers. One, the face value layer, what the entity itself wants. And two, from the universe, why do we have negative entity attachments at all in the first place? So looking at it from the face value layer, it may be that you can hear the entity in your head and it might be trying to tell you what it wants. The problem with this is that it can often be inconsistent. They're very crafty and they lie all the time. One of the things that they want to do is cause confusion. So they might tell you that they want to kill you or that they're going to be with you for the rest of your life or that they actually don't want to be attached to you and they've accidentally become so. They can give you a new story every single day because what they really want from their perspective is a place to be. They want at a vibration that is commensurate with theirs. So they're at a lower vibrational frequency. And, th and if they can keep yours at a lower vibrational frequency, then they're going to have a match. Well, how can they do this? This is not at all their natural plane of existence. So they're fairly limited as to what they can do. They can hear your thoughts. They can talk to you in some cases. Some of them can't even do that. And they can cause you physical sensations. They can cause you physical pain or discomfort. So if they're going to use only those methods for the most part, what are they going to do? They're going to influence you. They want you to have fear. They want you to be frustrated and angry. They want you to have lower frequency emotions because that keeps you lower and it keeps you at their level. They also want you to have no hope. They want you to give up because that means that you're not stepping into your power, that you're actually giving your power to them. So anything that they can do or say to make it so that you give your power and you lower your frequency, they're going to say it. So from that face value standpoint, you really can't listen to them because they're just going to make up whatever is in their best interest. So let's step back and look at this from a universal perspective. Why would the universe or your higher self or your soul contract want you to have a negative entity attachment experience? What do they want from you in this case? Well, they want the opposite of what a negative entity brings or what a negative entity wants. They want you to raise your vibrational frequency. They want you to step into your power. And this is a method to get you to do it. If you haven't been able to so far, for one reason or another, like childhood traumas, abuses, and, and uh, adulthood traumas and abuses, or any number of physical ailments or mental ailments, it could be anything then having a negative entity show up means that you're going to take a different course of action to try to remove it. You're not going to go to a traditional doctor. You're not going to just do the things that you would normally do. You're going to have to go to somebody who is highly spiritual. So you're going to go to them and you're going to say, hey, I've got this negative entity attachment. Unfortunately, in today's still infancy of spirituality, the, the practitioners that are out there are generally going to tell you that they will remove it for you. This is very convenient and wonderful. This is what we're used to. This is a very 3D experience. You go to the doctor to get pills. You go to the church to hear the word of God through someone else rather than relying on yourself. You don't realize that you can heal yourself. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't realize that you can talk to God yourself. You don't have to go to church. So in the same way, you go to a spiritual person, a healer, a, a, a shaman, a light worker, and they'll remove the entity for you. Voila, it's gone. Or at least that's what you think. The problem is you haven't actually satisfied the requirements that the universe or yourself have already put it in place for you. Instead, you've done a quick fix. So maybe it works. It works for a day, maybe even a week, maybe even a month. But eventually it comes back because you haven't done the things that you've wanted for yourself in the first place. You haven't raised your vibration or stepped into your power. So that's how it all works. And that's why people come to me. Because I don't just remove negative entities. I can, but of course, just like everyone else, it's temporary based on your situation. 
So instead, I teach you how to do all the other things. I teach you how to remove the entity yourself. Okay, well, with all of that said, I would like to go ahead and do a negative entity removal activation for you right now. So go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath. And relax as you exhale. Feel yourself sinking into your chair, into the bed, wherever it is you're sitting or lying down. This is a quick and easy activation. All I'm going to do is say breath in. When I do, you'll take a nice big deep breath. You'll hold it at the top and you'll wait for me to make a loud explosive sound and then you can exhale. So removing negative entity attachments from your energy field right now. Breath in. Breath in. Excellent. That's all there is to it. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. I know it seems crazy that it's that quick and that easy, but the negative entity attachment is just a symptom of a larger problem. It's actually very easy to remove, but like I said, they will just come back. And another thing that could help you with that is if you check the link in the description below, you can download a halo chakra activation, which you can use to prevent the, the entity from coming back so soon. It still might come back, but at least it'll give you a little bit more time to work on the things that you need to work on. So also, if you're interested in talking to me about setting up a, a consultation or one of the various ways that I help people remove negative entities themselves, then you can also find a link to that below as well. Well, thank you so much for participating in this activation and watching this video. You can like and subscribe and leave a comment and let us know what you think about what I've said, whether it resonates with you, or if you don't agree with it and you've had a different experience altogether. I'd love to hear it. I love you unconditionally, and I'll see you in the next video.